Bertram, remind me when this review is over that I am never having children. And why, you might ask? Well, knowing my luck, I would probably get one that's well behaved. And that just would not do. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer, joined once again by my faithful manservant slash fucktotem Bertram. <sighs> Say hello, Bertram. Hello, Bertram. And this is my review for Rule of Rose. So, um, what are we gonna do tonight, O.C.? Well, the same thing we try to do every night, Bertram. Take over the world. Uh, I mean, YouTube. Take over YouTube. Rule of Rose. Released for the PlayStation 2 in 2006. A year I remember fondly as the year I sat on, rode, and subsequently fell off of a horse for the first time. So, what is Rule of Rose? Well, <laughs> I'm so glad you asked, dear viewer. This is not only a survival horror game with a very twisted story, but it is also one of the only few games to be banned in Great Britain, thus making it one of the rarest PlayStation 2 games in existence alongside my very own video game. Boobs, breasts, beasts, and beats. A rhythm game where you simulate every sexual position featured in the Kama Sutra. Um, that's not a real video game. No, Bertram. That's a very, 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 very rare video game. Just like Rule of Rose. Um, except for the fact that Rule of Rose is a real video game. Shut up, Bertram. <laughs> Basically, what I'm saying is, Rule of Rose is harder to get than one of Bertram's jokes. Um, I resent that. <laughs> so, story. Now, I'm going to be as vague as possible here. This game has a fantastic story, and the last thing I want to do is to ruin it for any of you dear viewers. So, we play as Jennifer, who comes to an abandoned orphanage in the hope that she can remember events from her childhood, which might or might not involve love, obsession, murder, and a secret society of children called the Red Crayon Aristocrats. Now I'll just warn you here that this game's story goes to some very, very dark places and deals with themes of suicide, animal torture, abuse, Oh yes, this game is more uncomfortable than wearing leather underpants in... Um, a hot room? Well, I was going to say a brothel, but yes, a, a hot room works just as well. Um, a brothel? Yes, Bertram, because a chap will often be aroused while looking around a brothel. And leather underpants don't expand. Do you understand? Oh! Yes. I haven't been this disturbed by something since I saw Ingelbert Humberdink showering. 
<laughs> I haven't been the same man since. Um, didn't you offer to wash his back? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes, I did. Now, moving on, most of the darker moments in the game involve members of the Red Crayon Aristocrats. And let me just say that this is what happens when parents don't discipline their children. They turn into psychotic little bitches who form their own secret society and torture animals. Um, surely you're not condoning smacking children? Oh, go good lord, no. Why would you even suggest such a thing, you sick bastard? Um, well, you said discipline children. Yes, by taking their barbies away or making them eat 27 pounds of broccoli. Not by smacking them. Go and, go and sit in the corner and think about what you said, Bertram. Go on. <coughs> Now, what was I saying? Oh, yes. Now, Children of the Corn, Village of the Damned, Rugrats. These are all examples of stories featuring psychotic children. Um, Rugrats? Oh, yes. That is the worst of them all. That girl Angelica would murder you in your sleep, Bertram. Um, I, I don't think so. Well, excellent, because she's coming to stay next week. Oh, oh, fuck no. Ha ha ha, I rest my case. Now, it's because of these stories, particularly Rule of Rose, that I insisted that my wife be circumcised. Um, I... I think you mean sterilized? No, no, I I don't believe so. No, actually, now that I think about it, I insisted that she be castrated. That's it. Um, again, uh, I think you mean sterilized. No, no, I, I don't believe so. The point is, there was not a chance in hell we were having children after I saw what the children in this game got up to. So, gameplay. You'll explore the orphanage as well as an airship. Play the game and you'll know why you explore an airship. But like a lot of other horror games, you'll mostly be exploring trying to find keys to open doors, looking for items and health pickups, and fighting. More on that later. Thankfully, Jennifer has an adorable companion in the form of a dog called Brown. And no, I don't mean a bitch like Ashri Graham or Ellie. I mean an actual dog. He will help you find your way on the airship, as well as finding items for you. He's such a good boy. Oh yes he is. Oh yes he is. Um, why are you nice to a dog, and yet not very nice to me? Well, it's, it's quite simple, Bertram. I love dogs. And I hate people. Oh. So, what do I think about Rule of Rose? Well, as a survival horror game with intense psychological elements, I bloody love it. The game makes me scared, uncomfortable, and disturbed in a way I haven't felt since I videotaped my grandparents making love. Um, don't ask. <clears throat> so, whether you download the game, 
Whether you play it on an emulator or on an actual PlayStation 2, just make sure, if you like horror games, that you play Rule of Rose. But, 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 sadly, there is a thorn in this Rule of Rose. <laughs> um, that joke was terrible. Shut up, Bertram. <clears throat> now, the one thorn in this Rule of Rose is the game's combat. It's bloody awful. Jennifer swings weapons like a spastic. At the uh, correction, I mean someone who does a very convincing impersonation of a spastic. Most of the time you can just run past the enemies, but at certain points you have no choice but to fight. Especially considering that the game has three, that's right, three boss fights. One of which is so frustrating, I threw a grand piano out of the window. Oh! I knew that was you. But persevere and you'll beat said frustrating boss eventually. But this is one, albeit major slight against an otherwise great survival horror experience. Therefore, I am going to give Rule of Rose an eight. Out of ten. Well, <laughs> there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. My review for Rule of Rose. If you've enjoyed this little review of mine, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't enjoyed it, well then, feel free to give me a thumbs down. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, bell button thingy. Feel free to share the video to everyone you know, but remember the single most important thing I always tell you, dear viewer, and that is to always stay obsessed with gaming. <sighs> Say goodbye, Bertram. Goodbye, Bertram. Are you still here? Go away. I'm sure you've got something better to do with your time. No, seriously. Piss off. Be gone. Au revoir. A vide Zane. Bye. What in the hell is wrong with you? Go away! Vacate this space! Hit the cross at the top of the screen! The video is done! It's over! It's finito! It's caputo!